All right. In just hours from now, President Trump set to take his first victory lap since the completion of the Mueller report, clearing him of collusion. He'll rally supporters in Michigan, where we expect Mueller, Adam Schiff, and FISA abuses will all take center stage. Trump once again spiking the football about Mueller's findings before jumping on Air Force One. This was a terrible thing that was put onto our country. I, nobody's seen anything like this, probably never happened before. Uh, beautiful conclusion. I haven't seen the report. Beautiful conclusion. And uh, there was no collusion at all. There never was. Everybody knew it. I wish it could have gone in one week instead of taking almost two years. But the result was great. No obstruction. No collusion. And last night, the president said he's going to release FISA documents to help figure out how the Russia probe started. Trump also blasting Adam Schiff, yeah. saying he needs to resign for endlessly pushing the debunked collusion narrative for two years. And all of the Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee, which Schiff chairs, are demanding that he step aside. It led to this dramatic confrontation on Capitol Hill. Your willingness to continue to promote a demonstrably false narrative is alarming. As such, we have no faith in your ability to discharge your duties in a manner consistent with your constitutional responsibility and urge your immediate resignation as chairman of the committee. My colleagues may think it's okay that the Russians offered dirt on a Democratic candidate for president as part of what was described as the Russian government's effort to help the Trump campaign. You might think that's okay. I think it's immoral. I think it's unethical. I think it's unpatriotic. And yes, I think it's corrupt and evidence of collusion. Ooh, okay. Well, before we get to that, Greg, I heard you have the drinks lined up for the 7 p.m. Michigan rally tonight with <laughs> President Trump, and you can't wait. You know, this isn't going to be a victory lap. It's going to be a victory marathon. <laughs> uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, I, I, he does deserve it. I mean, yep. it's been two years. I feel bad for the audience's of CNN and MSNBC, what are they doing now? They're certainly not watching the, those networks. They're the other victims, those audiences, because they were they were fed or sold the journalistic equivalent of swampland. You know, they thought they were getting a condo and they got swampland, and now they have PCD, which is post collusion depression. The only cure is to turn the channel and watch Fox News and join the winners. Uh, but you can't forget how much this phony narrative could have damaged the country. This wasn't just a rumor. It was a it was a pretty provocative charge that the, the president yeah. is a Russian plant. I mean, that could lead to an actual, like, uh, warlike conflict. And not just for the country, but for my, my personal life. Being married <laughs> to a Russian, this was making my life hell. You have enough problems. I have, a, I have enough problems. I don't need it. Like, this thing is like every day. It's, it's, it's something. And Michael Schiff, it's, it's Adam, Adam Schiff, uh, him being the head of the Intelligence Committee, that's like Michael Moore being the head of Weight Watchers. Oh, ooh, ouch. Double How to end on a Weight Watchers joke. Whammy. All right, Dana, um, <laughs> advice for the president as he goes out on this victory tour. And mm. this is kind of a big deal in the House Intelligence Committee. Has this ever happened before? I don't, uh, well, I don't know if it has ever happened before. Um, but I do know that the Intelligence Committee, for a long time, kind of never heard about it. Like, there was never any partisan strife on right. either side. But in the last... Even going back into the Obama years, I think it sort of got that way. And to have all nine Republicans sign a letter together, including uh, members like Will Hurd mm -hmm. and Elise Stefanik, so un unanimously saying you ought to uh, step down it's from your serious. position. He's not going to step down. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, that was, a, that was a show of unity on the Republican side. I think this is very politically astute for President Trump to get out of Washington. Because only in Washington are people talking about Russia and the Mueller investigation. Like, out in the country, they want to hear what he has to say, what he's going to do. And, and he's going to a place where, when it comes to re-election, he's underwater right now. And he's got some work to do to try to shore things up in Michigan. And, of course, he wants to win it again. Before he was talking about all the other things when he left this afternoon, uh, he was talking about the economy, all the jobs that are coming back. So if I were those guys, I would try to get the president out of Washington, D.C. as much as possible, and not just to Mar-a-Lago. Go see America. <laughs> the presidency goes by really fast. America is awesome, and uh, I think that people want to see him. I Nationalist. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so maybe maybe go. Where would you go if you were the president and you wanted to spike the football? And besides Mar-a-Lago, obviously they have a great golf course. If you would go somewhere else besides Palm Beach, where would you go? I mean, honestly, I think his message gets everywhere instantaneously because he's the guy who tweets, because he's the guy that that responds that way. I mean, I would I would focus on this for a minute. I, I would. You got to do your victory lap, right? There's yep. no collusion. You got. You have to stress that but I would also not I would I would pivot away at some point and also talk about jobs and talk about what all the people across the country are really craving because there were so many people who were watching this go down that initially were like all right let's let the investigation play out let's see what they have and then at some point we're like okay this is a witch hunt this has gone completely off the rails so I think he's gonna need a little bit of time just to say I told you so right. there's no collusion and you know I, I, look I don't know who at this point is listening to Adam Schiff and saying that's my guy you know, this guy, it's outrageous, really, what he did. Chair, a chair of the Intel Committee out on television trying to imply for a really long time that he had access to information that suggested, no, no, it's collusion. I don't know how this guy's not embarrassed. Forget about resigning. He should be bowing his head in shame everywhere. So I think that Trump, yes, you make a victory lap, but... People know now. People really, really know, and there's very, very few people who are on the un, in the unhinged camp, even on the left. So say what you got to say, and then pivot on to what your plan's going to be for 2020 and how you're going to make this country even better than it is right now. Right. So, Juan, very clear winners and losers after the Mueller report. <laughs> and Schiff is a loser, obviously. And instead <laughs> of, like, you know, you got to know when to hold him, know when to fold him, he should just fold and move on. But he keeps doubling down and saying he has evidence there was collusion. Even the members of his own committee saying, yeah, we did a whole investigation on this. You've been out there saying there's no, there's, there's collusion. We've seen it. There's none. Boy, I tell you, strong and wrong, <laughs> and long. That's you. You don't stop. I mean, in fact, in, you know, I was looking at polls today. You know, CBS polls 60% of Americans saying it's too early to say that the president's been cleared. CNN half say, hey, Mueller just couldn't prove it. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. Oh, that's oh, America. Come on. From that's the media's point of view. I'm just telling you what the... I know come you guys on. don't want to hear the truth. But I, here's the thing. I don't even think the president's very good at victory laps, even if he wants to have a victory lap. The whole business about taking apart the Affordable Care Act has got Republicans in a tizzy right, right. now in Washington. He taught, you want to talk about jobs and the economy? We saw commerce numbers out today. They pushed the numbers down in terms of GDP for the last quarter. 3% growth? Huh, Mr. President, doesn't look like it to me. And then, of course, he had to go back and say, oh, we're not going to take away money from Special Olympics because that was so awful and toxic. You had Republicans. Roy Blunt of Missouri, the senator, saying this is deplorable. So, oh, my God, this is Trump on a victory lap. This is Trump sinking further into the muck, in okay. my opinion. Well, I don't think he's sinking down. I think you'll see the poll numbers, Juan, as you like to cite, will pop big time after this. They haven't popped yet. Nation. Not even in well, terms uh, they of don't even. They haven't even polled. Yes, yet. they have. They, they've been snap polls after they the Mueller report snap, came out. Not what? snap, but there were polls done after the Mueller report came out, and they I, showed no... People just aren't shifting their opinions okay, but based on this. And don't forget, we haven't seen the Mueller report. Okay, well, <laughs> I, I honestly you urge the, you to just give it some time, and you'll see the numbers If you bounce. see the Mueller report, and it comes out, and it absolutely also says there's no collusion, there's no obstruction, will that satisfy the I would, I, I would, I'm dying for it, Jedediah. Right. I mean, we'll see. Okay, yesterday we'll see. on Hannity, well, the president one. saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to put out a Pfizer report. I haven't done it before. I, let's see. If you, that's what you think is appropriate, put it out. How about pardons? He's now talking about pardoning oh, people. Okay. Oh. Wow. I think, wow. Well, I think we should pardon you because you've committed a <laughs> lot of crimes. Yeah, yeah, A yeah, lot yeah. of crimes. Yeah. Uh -oh. Crimes against the truth. <laughs> yeah.